everybody on here, sitting here on the porch, having coffee with all of you, just like in the olden days when I first moved here. I was always on my porch, but then the bugs started coming in, and whew, it just was miserable sitting out here. But today it's nice, a little bit cool. It was really sunny earlier, but the clouds have kind of come in. I don't think it's going to rain today. I hope not. Anyhow, the chickens, I've already let the chickens out. Um, the big girls came outside. The little girls are running around inside the van. And yesterday, I made something. I call it a chicken nummy. And I'm going to see if I can make it again. I don't know if I'll do it today, but it is like a little cake that they peck at and they eat, and it turned out great. So eventually, I'm going to show you how I did that. Today, well, uh, once again, I know you guys hear me talking about her all the time, Pure American Glory. She made a bouquet, a beautiful bouquet, for a family member that they were going to be visiting just from the things that she cut from around her garden. Well, I don't have a flower garden, but I do have a lot of wild flowers growing, so I'm going to try and make a bouquet today. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be my big productive thing. And um, I also might get, the, get some more weeds whacked down by my culvert and whatnot. So it looks pretty from the road. You know, I don't have to keep up with the Joneses, you know, and have a perfectly manicured lawn and a perfect everything. But, you know, I do kind of like to make things look nice, you know, when you're driving by. So that's what I'm going to do today, too. Uh, you know, I need to poke around. I need to put some more bedding in my worm bin. And I need to add some things to the coop. Oh, there is one more thing I want to get done. And it has to do with the wood-burning stove. So I might try and get that project started today too. So anyhow, um, oh, and as far as the inside of the, the tiny house, uh, Cody has said he will help me finish the inside of it, and I'm definitely going to pay him, um, definitely going to be pay him, paying him more than he asked, that's for sure. So that's going to be, oh my goodness. Come on, girls. You see those little heads poking up over there? Come on, you guys. Oh my goodness. Get down, birdies. Good girls. I didn't even have to walk over there. They know what I mean. Yeah, they 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 can fly out, but if they do, they don't move far. They have everything they need in that little yard over there. Um, I would like to make it bigger, and I think I'm going to be able to make it bigger very, very soon. And, uh, well, anyhow, let's just get this day going. Well, first I gotta have breakfast. This is scrambled eggs with a puffball mushroom that's been sautéed in ghee. And I think they refer to these as the, I don't know, breakfast mushroom or something because they can't, they're kind of buttery and they go really well with eggs. But I wanted to show you something. All right, so when I cut this one open, the one that I actually ate is a puffball mushroom that I harvested yesterday. Now, see how the flesh looks? It's still really nice and nice and white and firm. Well, I had harvested another one a couple days ago and just didn't cook it. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's starting to yellow. It's way too spongy. It's almost starting to get powdery. I wouldn't suggest eating these when they're at this stage. So really, if you're going to eat a puffball mushroom, harvest it the same day that you're going to eat it. So I'm going to eat my delicious breakfast. And I know it's going to taste delicious. I just know it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, those mushrooms go so well with scrambled eggs. I wanted to show you guys these mushrooms side by side. This is the one that I ended up eating. I harvested it yesterday. Its flesh is still very, very firm. It's perfectly white. It's very fresh. This one has already started going bad. I harvested it a couple days ago, two days ago, and it's kind of mushy, soggy. It's starting to yellow. I don't recommend eating them when they're at this stage. Um, you know, I haven't tried eating them at this stage, but it's already starting to go bad, so I can't imagine it would taste very good. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just commit these back out to the wild, and hopefully they'll produce spores and give me more mushrooms. I also thought I'd share this with you. I pulled this off my lawn today. It's a death cat mushroom. And it's a mature one, but it matured pretty quickly because I checked yesterday and I didn't see any of these growing out there. So, um, unfortunately, I already broke the stem and I didn't show you the bottom part. It's got like a little bulb at the bottom. And it's a veiled mushroom. It breaks out of its veil and leaves this little remnant behind. It's got white gills. When it gets real big, it cracks open like this. The top of it is kind of like a, oh, it's kind of like a bronzy 
color. It looks kind of shiny if the sun were going to be shining on it, but not all are shiny. But yeah, death cat mushroom. They're pretty common, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. <laughs> I wish I could eat it because it's pretty meany, but nope, nope, nope. Looks like it's going to rain, so I need to go pick those flowers for my beautiful bouquet. I think this is a good place to start. Look at all those pretty yellow flowers. Yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to trim a few up, put them in my harvesting basket, and then go look for some more. Oh, look at these. Yeah, I think I'll grab some of those. Yep, goldenrod. Ooh, pretty purple. I think I know what these are. When they dry up, they're the things that sticks to you when you're walking through the forest. But they're pretty right now, so I'm getting some. Remember this stuff? I have no idea what it is. I think it might be a kind of clematis, not sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick some of it because it's weird looking. Don't know what these are, but they're pretty, so I'm picking them. What about some ferns? Yeah, yeah, I think I'll try some ferns. Watching me put this all together would be painful. <laughs> so, uh, and they're starting to fade a little bit, some of the flowers are, so I need to get this done. Hopefully Judy won't trip me right now, and I'll just show you the after picture. <laughs> well, not bad. <laughs> I'm historically bad at arranging flowers, and these flowers were fading fast. The little yellow daisy ones were really fading. I couldn't get everything in it, but you could only fit so much in a beer bottle, you know? I don't know. All in all, not bad. I think it's pretty. I'm going to take a photo. Yeah, I guess I am pretty proud of myself. It looks pretty. It's got water in it, so maybe some of the flowers will perk up. I don't know. But I am going to definitely take it inside. I've already inspected it for bugs and whatnot, and I don't think there are any. And I'm going to put it on my table and just enjoy it. I was going to start another project that involves me prying something apart that's in the shed. But I'm going to wait on that for right now because I got another look at this thing. Um, it's the desk, actually, that's in there. And it's pretty beat up, but I don't know. I may be able to repurpose that desk for something else. So um, really, I just wanted the wood from the top of it that I was going to repurpose and use for something else. But I'm going to think about that for a little while. So I think for the rest of today... I am just going to, it, it didn't rain, it just rained for like 30 seconds and it wasn't very hard. So I think I'm just going to get that weed whacker, take it down to the bottom of the street, see what else I can bust out down there, and maybe on the side, the property line between my property and my next door neighbors, because there's a bunch of brush up there too. If I can get that weed whacker working, I'd love to take some of that stuff down. And then I need to process the goldenrod that is dry. The only thing that I'm wondering about is some of the flowers, once they dehydrated, they went to the fluff, which is basically, I guess, their seed stage. Anybody who knows anything about goldenrod, let me know. Can you still use the dried flowers once they get fluffy? Um, not, of, not all of them did that, so you kind of got to look at your goldenrod flowers, I think, and pick the ones that are really, really fresh. Um, so if you know anything about harvesting goldenrod and it, whether or not once they're dry if the flowers go to the seed stage kind of like the fluffy stage if you can still use those um, because if not I'm gonna have to throw a bunch of it out but I've been trying to harvest the goldenrod when it is fresher so that when the flowers dry when they're completely dry they still look like flowers just dried so but I want to start getting some of that and make some tinctures and make some salves and some um, oils, you know, immerse, immerse them in oil and use it that way. But I don't want to do that unless I know that it's okay to use it if they're fluffy. Anyhow, uh, you know what, I think I'm going to just make this be a short one today. I don't think you need to see me cutting down weeds. You've seen that before. <laughs> and I just want to get it busted out, so... Yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.